video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and today I have to pot up my peppers. So I'm starting some peppers both for my personal garden and for my seedling sale. They were one of the big sellers last year, especially the long hots. So what I'm doing is I started the peppers in three quarter inch soil blocks and this is to save room on the germination, on the heat mat really where they're germinating. So during germination, I have 40 plants on this little tray and this is just a leftover styrofoam tray from a, a meat market purchase. Uh, I don't have 100% germination, but I pretty much do. It looks like I have 36 out of 40. So I will be potting these up. These are jalapenos. I started them on February 27th. So they are about three weeks old. They're just starting to get their first true set of leaves. And then these ones, I have two different ones. I have yellow monster peppers, which is a yellow bell pepper. And then I have pepperoncinis. Pepperoncinis, those are for me. They're not for the seedling sale, but the yellow monsters and the jalapenos are for the seedling sale. So what I'm doing today is I am potting them up from these little baby three quarter inch soil blocks to a two inch soil block. And I'm doing it now because last year I waited a little bit too long and I think it was detrimental to some of my plants. So I think now is the perfect time because the roots have yet to try to make their way out of this small three quarter inch soil block. So when I make these two inch soil blocks, there is, you could see those little one, two, three, four, you can see those little black squares in there. That is going to put a three quarter inch divot into the top of this block where these little tiny squares are going to fit perfectly. And then the roots can kind of travel and, and make their way into the, th the two inch block. So it's a really a wonderful space saving method. And then they go into the two inch soil block and they love it there. They live there happily for the next six to eight weeks. And about eight weeks from now, about seven and a half weeks from now is my seedling sale and that's where they're gonna live until the week of my seedling sale and that's when I'll pot them up to a four inch pot for the sale. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some of these two inch blocks and then we'll pot them up together. There's my three quarter inch blocker. I'm gonna move that probably on the floor and then roll my sleeves up. You wanna make sure that they're, they're full. And usually I'll take a butter knife and just scrape the bottom of it off. That way, not using soil that I won't be needing. And then I'm in a tray here. Push down, pull up, release, and there are my two inch soil blocks. One, two, three, four. So I need 40 of them and they will all fit into this tray. So I'm gonna get going on those. Okay, so now I have my two inch soil blocks and they're not perfect, but they look pretty good. Ooh, that one's a little crumbly, whatever. Um, so sometimes they fit perfectly and sometimes you kind of have to uh, build them up a little bit to get the soil around the block, but that's just user error. But uh, yeah, see, it's starting to get a little tiny. Let me move it over in front of the black tool cabinet. There's the root right there. <laughs> Last year I waited too long on my tomatoes to pot them up and the roots ended up being like a little bit of a, a, a clump and they didn't fit well because literally you just drop it down into the two inch soil block. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm dropping them in and then their roots have room to spread even further making for just a really good healthy plant. Here we go. Okay, so we have one tray done. I ended up making uh, three extra soil blocks because I'm gonna go throw these three. There's no point in saving soil blocks that won't work, which is actually perfect because I like to have space to water. If I jam pack this in with soil blocks, I wouldn't be able to water as well as I can when they're open like this. So I at least like to leave one area free where I can water because these soil blocks, they soak up a lot of water. So it's good to have the extra space. Make it more. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm gonna label this first. You know what, I don't even have to. I just move, I'm moving the label from one tray to the next. Okay, so this is labeled jalapenos and they will be in this for the next six weeks or so. And then I have, actually they're recycled pots. I received these pots last year in a shipment of perennials. They're four inch proven winner's pots and I'm just gonna use those to make it easier for people to transport the seedlings when they buy them. So when the people buy them at the seedling sale, they'll be in the four inch pots. Unless they specifically request that they wanna bring the soil blocks home, but I find people don't know what to do when they have soil blocks. They don't know how to water them. They don't have the trays to put them in so that they can bottom water them. So people prefer bringing stuff home in the four inch pot. Okay, so now moving on to the other peppers. So this is the yellow monster peppers, which I actually do have 100% germination on. Yay! Yeah, so 20 of these will be that. And then I do not have, I mean, I have decent germination. I think there are three out of the pepperoncinis, which are mine, so they're not going in a four inch pot. They're going from the two inch soil blocks to the ground. So the yellow peppers will be for the sale. So I'm gonna go ahead. I think my mother-in-law wants some pepperoncinis too. And if my mom finds out I have pepperoncinis and my grandfather finds out I have pepperoncinis, I might need to start more pepperoncinis. <laughs> Everyone's gonna want some. Um, uh, we love to pickle things and uh, pickled peppers are kind of a family tradition. I actually have a video with my grandfather where we're pickling hot cherry peppers and uh, that's one of my favorite videos. It's actually one of the lower viewed videos because it's not farm related, but it's family related, which is more important to me. It is a treasure. And actually, I think I might go back and watch it today because my grandfather's hysterical. Okay, so these are the yellow monster peppers, which are the yellow bell peppers, basically. They're kind of a yellow and green striped pepper, and I'm excited to see how well they do here. I'm gonna keep a couple of these for myself and I'm gonna sell them at the My Seedling Sale. So you guys might wonder why I'm not starting like a crazy ton of, of seeds for my seedling sale. Well, my the population of my village is only 2,000. I am going to a market in a bigger city, but um, really not expecting to be crazy inundated with seedling orders. And you'll remember that I'm opening up my local line um, seedling store so I have a better idea of demand and I am gonna put like a small amount of demand or my inventory is only gonna have a small amount. So when it sells out, it sells out. I'm gonna say that I have 30 jalapeno peppers available because um, some of them are mine. So when 30 are gone, 30 are gone. These look so cute. I love them and these roots look really healthy. I just, I didn't wanna wait that long because last year the root, honestly they were so big I couldn't tuck them into the hole. So I said, next year we gotta do this when they're only a couple inches tall. And that's what I'm doing, and it's working really beautifully. So a lot of people ask about pinching peppers. In fact, you can pinch peppers for bushier plants, more productive plants. Um, I have actually a video from a couple years ago <laughs> that I did on pinching peppers, and I'll show some clips of it here. You can see that after you pinch the peppers, they start to branch out and become bushier. And I think that's awesome. That's really a way to get more productivity out of the same square footage in your garden. Oops, I just demolished that soil block. I just watered these as you saw on the clip. So um, they're nice and uh, damp. They're nice and moist. They're nice and moist. So one of the other things that I did to get ahead on my seedling sale is I had a day the other day where we were just out here relaxing and we, Brad, I think Brad put the Hunger Games on or something. So we were just sitting, hanging out out here. Well, I took that time to go ahead and make my plant labels for my four inch pots. So instead of running around like a crazy person the week of the sale and making all these tags, I pre-made like that's the, that's the jalapeno one. So all of the jalapeno tags all, are already made and I have them in a stack here. I've got Berry's Crazy Cherry, I've got Basil, San Marzano, that's the thickest stack. That and this is mine, mine, mine. <laughs> Those are for me. And uh, Super Sweet che or, uh, super sweet 100s, Red Marigolds. I'm selling some six packs of Marigolds this year. And this is another thing of San Marzano. So this is San Marzano and this is San Marzano. That's how many San Marzano, whoops, 
That's how many San Marzano I have started downstairs. So I'm gonna give those another week though and then pop them up. Yeah, so I've got everything already kind of labeled. In fact, I'm gonna now move these ones over. Let's see how I can do this, ready? Cause I wanna have, I'm gonna get my butter knife. Oh, you know what? Veda's hospital spoon will do. And I'm doing this because I want to know which ones are King of the North and which ones are um, the pepperoncinis. Don't want to screw that up. Last year I had a couple of labeling errors and I ended up um, keeping the plants because I didn't know what they were and I didn't feel confident selling them because I couldn't 100% say, oh yeah, these are so-and-so. These two are falling apart. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to use that one. Okay, let's see how far this goes. Peppercini, 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 peppercini. You are the perfect pepper. The peppercini, oh, the peppercini. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Okay, so I have this one, and then this one's just sprouting, so I'm gonna take that and put it right there. You're good. Oh, shoot, this one's sprouting too, so I'm gonna have to use the craptastic one. But that's okay. It's mine. It's now going for sale. So, let's label that side. The pepperoncinis. So basically, um, give me a sandwich and it needs pepperoncinis. So we're gonna try and make our own pickled pepperoncinis this year. Uh, that's why I started so many because I want to, um, we don't know what the state of the world and the food supply other than things are like tripling in price. I went to the store yesterday and walked out with basically nothing because I was so overwhelmed at the price of things. So this is gonna be the year of preserve as much food as I can. That's all I'm gonna try to do. So uh, we'll see what works and what doesn't work. I've been canning foods for years, but mostly it's sauce and green beans and you know, like other things that are pretty common. And we freeze some things, but I mean, I'm trying to be serious about it this year. We'll see how far it gets because sometimes I get really overwhelmed in the garden. I think we all do but um, I'm really gonna try and focus, focus, so. Okay, so I'm gonna go put these under the lights and uh, wait, I think the other ones, the other ones have a few more days. So that is how I transfer things from three quarter inch soil blocks to the two inch soil blocks and they will remain happy here. And these guys, they'll straighten out, they'll get sturdy, they'll have nice thick stems, they're gonna be fantastic. Uh, the Vermont compost never disappoints me, so I know that my plants are going to be amazing. My camera just stopped recording and I was in the middle of a sentence and I don't remember where I left off, but I was just gonna say about fertilizing. I will be fertilizing these with my Neptune's um, fish emulsion and seaweed uh, after they get their actual true leaves. So once the next set of leaves comes, um, I'm gonna start like this one that actually has some little cute little pepper leaves. So probably a week from now, I'll start fertilizing these on a weekly basis. So they will get stronger in their little tiny blocks. Once I get them under the lights, they'll, they'll stand up, they'll grow nice thick stems, and they're gonna be fantastic. And last year, my long hots, which I have those downstairs to pot up as well. The long hots did so well. I was able to make several meals out of stuffed peppers. Woo! They were delicious. They're actually an Anaheim pepper from Johnny's is the seed that I use. They were just a little bit of heat, so they were perfect for cooking and perfect for stuffing, and the family loved them. So I will be keeping a lot of those for myself too. So anyway, thanks for sticking around, guys. We'll see you soon. And now, more about the sponsor of today's video. It's Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in your creativity. While searching the platform this week, I was immediately drawn to a class by Christopher Griffin. Griffin is all about houseplants, but the presentation is so bright, bold, beautiful, plus he was dancing, that sucked me in. I might be able to grow thousands of plants in the field, but give me a houseplant? Yeah, I need to work on that. This class goes into detail about assessing your space and creating a routine that will ultimately lead to houseplant success. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and new classes are always being added. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. 
I just got back up and I thought you guys might ask um, what other things I do use the two inch soil blocker for. So basically the two inch soil blocker is good for larger seeds. I start my sweet peas in them and I also would start things like a zucchini or a squash, something with a larger seed that cannot fit into the three quarter inch soil blocker. For the majority of flowers, I use the three quarter inch. And in, for, in fact, for the majority of vegetables, I also can use the three quarter inch soil blocker. But for things with larger seeds, if you wanna start something early, the two inch soil blocker could be good for you or you can use plug trays. There are no other flowers that I use the two inch, like the two inch blocker for other than sweet peas. I start them right in them and my sweet peas, they're on fire this year. They look so good, I'm so happy with them. So they're gonna go outside soon. I'm very excited to get the sweet peas out and see what they do this year. I've had great success in years past with sweet peas. The climate's kind of perfect for them. They will bloom like the entire season. A lot of places get too hot and they kind of peter out. Mine bloom until frost, so they're really beautiful. Anyway, that's it. That was a little tip, but I forgot to tell you. If Peter Piper pickled up, <laughs> like butter. If Peter Piper potted up a peck of pickled peppers. <laughs> It's like buttercream frosting. You just take the knife and you buttercream frosting. Peter Piper potted up a peck of pickled peppers. How many soil blocks would he use? What? Those ones look perfect. And Peter Piper potted up a peck of pepperoncinis. How many soil blocks would he make?